Now, many people honor the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. today. It has been 50 years since his assassination at the Lorraine Motel in Memphis. Bells in the Southland rang at 4.01 to mark the exact time he was shot on the balcony of that motel. CBS 2's Lisa Siegel has more on the emotional tribute. As people gather together on this, the 50th anniversary of the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the bell at Transfiguration Church in Lamert Park rang 39 times. To represent the number of years the civil rights leader lived, the ringing started at exactly 4.01 our time to signify the moment that Dr. King died. The ringing of the bells will awaken this community to the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King. At the Central Library downtown, pictures of Dr. King from the library's own collection and others are part of two exhibits, and on this day, they take on new meaning. Just to see his his face and to see Coretta on this day, it just puts goosebumps on your arms. It's, it's, uh, it's very emotional to see, frankly. Ben Duprat is from France. As he walked among the images, he told us how Dr. King shaped his view of the world. It shows that uh, if, if the change uh, can start with only a few people or one, one person, you know. Misha House feels the same way. He was a great man and he stood up for us you know, fight against um, prejudice. It is a feeling all these people share as they remember Dr. King. I have a dream. A dream that spread far and wide and a legacy that will live forever. It truly was a beautiful, emotional tribute here. And that exhibit we saw at the Central Library, it runs through May. Back to you.